I'm honestly not a big fan of wireless earphones in the price range of 2000 rupees because most of them don't even come halfway close to the wired earphones in terms of sound quality. But I think I finally have something that I can recommend to everyone. Yes, the Enco M31 definitely sounds good, but hold on before you go and check out the description box to buy the M31 because uh, there are a few things that you need to know before you buy the M31. So without wasting any further time, my name is Saru Nahar, you're watching All About Technologies. Let's begin. All right, so let's start with the unboxing. Oppo Enco M31 comes in this wide box where you can see branding on the bottom along with LDAC written over here, which is something that you might not get to see in this particular price segment. Now flipping it over, few features are mentioned at the rear side. As I mentioned, it comes with LDAC support. It is also high-res wireless audio certified, AI uplink noise cancellation for calls. The weight is just 22 grams, which is good. Eight hours of LDAC audio playtime base mode and lastly it is ipx5 water resistant so you can wear them during workouts as well now let's open the box and see what all things we get so first you get the oppo enco m31 which i'll remove and keep it to the side next you get the warranty card now it comes with one year of warranty so that's good quick start guide which explains everything really well so do have a look at it for charging you get a usb type c cable which is honestly a good decision Lastly, you get two additional ear tips so that you can try all the three and use the ones that fit you really well. Alright, now that we are done with the unboxing, let's take a look at the earphones. As you have already seen, I have the black variant which has its own charm, but I think green looks better and classy. Anyways, taking a look at the design, it has this neckband design with a very slim profile. Even the earbuds are tiny, they are not at all bulky. You also get to see these chrome bits which gives the earphones a better look in my opinion. Overall, I like the design. Now taking a closer look at the earphones, the neckband is made of soft touch silicon so it never bothered me even while I was wearing the earphones for a longer period of time. Next, there are some buttons on the left side which includes multifunction button and volume up down. Now I really appreciate the small detail of making the volume up and down buttons differently. It's a small detail but trust me you will thank Oppo every time you use these buttons. There is an LED indicator in between the volume buttons and multifunction button which will indicate battery levels. Microphone and USB Type-C port is also located on the left side. Now strangely there is no flap on the port so I just hope that it won't get damaged even in the long run. The earbuds have this plastic housing which feels decent in terms of quality but in terms of fit they fit me really well and even with long listening sessions I had no complaints. I also liked how Oppo assigned the commands to the buttons, single press the multifunction button to play or pause the music, triple press the multifunction button to activate Google Assistant, press and hold the volume up button to change to the next song and press and hold volume down button to go back to the previous song. Now in terms of connection, Enco M31 connects to the paired device really quickly and even in terms of range, I had no issues. M31 also comes with this magnetic control which means whenever you remove the earphones and keep them like this, it will automatically disconnect with the paired device and whenever you put them back again in your ears, it will automatically connect to the device. So that's a cool feature that will help you in saving some battery. Now before we get to the sound quality, let's first talk about the battery life of the M31. Now when I kept the LDAC feature on and when I was listening to the music on 100% volume, I was getting about 7.5 hours of playback time which is like very close to the claims done by Oppo which is 8 hours. So that's nice but even if you keep the LDAC feature off, you will maximum get 12 hours of playback time which is quite less compared to the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z. And not just that, Enco M31 will only give you up to 3 hours of playback with 10 minutes of charge, whereas you will get up to 10 hours on the Bullets Wireless Z. Yes, with LDAC off, you might get more with 10 minutes of charge, but it's still gonna be less than the Bullets Wireless Z. Now for 0-100% to charge, it will take about 50 minutes, which is I guess similar to the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z. I also made some calls using the M31 and the other party never complained about the audio. I also recorded some audio using the M31 and here is how it sounds. So guys, I'm recording this audio using the Enco M31. Let me know how it is sounding right now in the comment section. How is the mic of the Enco M31? And yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Finally, let's talk about the sound quality. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the sound quality on the M31 is very good, especially at this price point. I'm not an audio expert or anything, but based on my testing of multiple products, I can surely say that this is one of the best sounding Bluetooth earphones in this price range. The vocals were super clear. There was adequate amount of bass. The treble was good. It was not rolled off or anything. But one thing I did notice was that the sound stage is not that wide. But apart from that, I have no complaints with the sound quality, especially at this price point. Now, in terms of noise isolation, it is quite good. And wearing these earphones in public places shouldn't be a problem. Now, there is also a dedicated bass mode for all the bass heads out there. You can simply switch it on by double pressing the multi-function button. By default, it will be switched off. It will be in the balanced mode, which is quite good. Like I personally like it. I have used the bass mode, but the bass is just too much for my liking. So within few minutes, I used to switch back to the balanced mode. Now, one thing is worth mentioning over here is that there is no low latency mode on these earphones. So if you plan to use them for playing games like PUBG or Call of Duty, then I would suggest that don't buy these earphones because there is no low latency mode and there's quite a lot of latency. So I'm not going to recommend you for playing games like PUBG. So here is my verdict. If you are fine with the average battery life and if you're not planning to use these earphones for playing games like PUBG or Call of Duty, then you should definitely buy these earphones right now by using the link in the description box. And I'm sure you'll be happy with the sound quality for the price that you're paying. Like this is one of the best sounding earphones in the price range of 2000 rupees. Well, that's my take. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family who are looking to buy Bluetooth earphones in the price range of 2000 rupees. I'm sure they'll be impressed with the sound quality of these earphones. And guys, if you are new to the channel, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon because only then you'll get notified about more such amazing reviews like these. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram for more updates. That's it guys, this is Sarunaha. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.